Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. This one right here is dealing with your boy. Yeah, no other than Boosie. Huh? And how Boosie got some discontent towards some guys out of Chicago. See, I want people to understand too on a huge perspective where I'm coming from. Right? This is not a time where they should be at odds. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by that is two black men who has the spotlight. The last thing they want to do is make it seem like they're being combative towards one another. But at the same time, like I said, man, it's all going off of Boosie having something to say about Kanye wearing a, a All White Lives Matter shirt with Candace Owens. And him saying that, going from that and saying, yeah, I see this shirt and then like, I ain't care about Kanye's fashion sense or his clothing line anyway. But Kanye on the flip end says that, yeah, that's because you stand wearing all that polo and all that clothing line that you stand the same people that's keeping you down, you supporting them. You know, we already know dealing with the whole Duke the Jeweler situation. What happened out of H-Town based around him getting sent up? Because you got some people saying that he shouldn't have been walking around all, with all his jewelry. He should have brought security from Chicago if he knew he was going to be going out there with the jury. Not only to go out there to enjoy the concert or the events after the concert, but also knowing he was going out there on a business trip as well. You understand? So you have some people who's like, nah, that's not on Boosie. I'm one of those people who's saying... Nah, I don't believe it's Boosie. But again, like I've been stating to you guys from the beginning, I believe that Boosie does know the ones that are involved in Duke's untimely demise. But before we get into it, as always, let's show our respects by saying rest in peace to Duke the jeweler, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in Chicago. Again, knowing that you have the Boosie situation dealing with Duke the jeweler, so you have some people saying that's the reason why his shows in Chicago may be rescheduled or canceled, period. You understand? Due until further notice. And also, I'll let you guys know about how, you know, Duke's family feels about the whole situation pertaining to their family member being sent up. After having a conversation with him about going out to H-Town and enjoying himself, but again, he didn't make it back to Chicago. And like I informed you guys yesterday, the brother, yeah, man, come on, man. Yes, the brother's going to feel some type of way. And y'all got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when the brother Stacks is paying attention to the fact that Duke was not a street guy. Yes, affiliated with street guys, but not to the point of I'm going to be out, you know what I'm saying, in hood events, things of that nature. Like Duke, the jeweler, he wasn't even out in hood events in Chicago, man. If he do pull up, he's not going to pull up with no jury on like that. You understand? Because like I told you guys before, if he knew how to move in Chicago... You know what I'm saying? And detect what's going down out there and able to do that for over 28 years. How does he not have the same mentality while he's in H-Town? I told you guys, look at the pictures. He's not walking around or in H-Town with a bunch of jewelry on. Look at the dice game. He's not at the dice game with a bunch of jewelry on because he knew the jewelry was in the Louis Vuitton bag. Okay? So our people were saying... Man, he showed, again, he showed up with the jury in the bag, right? He wasn't showing it out in people's faces. You understand? What I'm saying is that, right, you're around a small amount of people who got money. You know what I'm saying? When you're at this dice game. Even the area that y'all having this dice game in is a suburbial area. It's in a suburbial community. So, again, only a small amount of people know that Duke the Jeweler is a jeweler from Chicago and he bought some chains and diamonds and stuff with him in the Louis Vuitton bag. Only a small amount of people knew. Can't no regular jack boy, you know what I'm saying, that's in H-Town know of this dude like that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Unless it was a word about him without his understanding. But like I told you guys on the flip end, right? You guys see the thumbnail. You guys read the title. Yeah, it seems as if Boosie just doesn't have the discontent. With Duke the Jeweler and the GDs, right? From that perspective, there's also some beef between Boosie and Kanye West right now. Now, we know a lot of people, the way they feel towards Kanye West about, you know, the whole White Lives Matter shirt that he did with Candace Owens, right? We all know that Kanye go overboard sometimes. You understand? That's all part of his mentality. Or should I say, 
that's all part of his plan to get the people to understand the point of view of where he coming from. I'm not here to defend Kanye West on that behalf. He do what he want. He a grown man, right? I'm just talking about the discontent that Boosie has towards Kanye West for Kanye West wearing the shirt. Now, Boosie is not only saying that he disagrees with Kanye wearing by wearing the all white lives matter shirt. He also got on Kanye and saying that he really didn't care about Kanye's fashion points or Kanye fashion tips or saying that or really saying that uh, Kanye's clothing line is not really all that what it's paying out to be. And this is coming from Boosie. Boosie is basically saying that he will not waste a dime on Kanye's clothing line. At the same time, we all know Kanye, you know what I'm saying? He overheard what Boosie said and also has some things to say about Boosie towards, you know what I'm saying? About the things that Boosie promotes. And from that point of view, I would have to agree more towards Kanye West. Again, Kanye West has not been put in a situation to where some multiple people has been sent up being being involved in Kanye life, right? But multiple people have been sent up being involved in Boosie's life. You know what I'm saying? Again, a couple instances, we got the Mo3, we got Duke the Jeweler, we got a, a, another rapper out of out of uh, Louisiana that was sent up. Like it's it's a going it's an ongoing um, situation dealing with Boosie. Even people in the comments, man, come on, man. I, it was some people in the comments before that was like, yeah, Boosie is involved in like five people getting sent up, man. I know I'm familiar with three of them. The other two, nah, I don't really I don't, I don't really know the information pertaining to that, right? But it stills go to the point, like I'm saying, is that Kanye is saying that. The energy Boosie brings into a room, right? That it sucks the life out of a lot of people. When Kanye says that he's there to bring light to people, he's there to shine the light on people based on their creative side, not based around whoever got the most money and the most chains and things of that nature. You understand? This is part of the reason why I made this video, right? I'm letting you guys know that Boosie placed himself in a corner. Once the whole Duke the Jeweler situation happened, right? But now he's going at another Chicago guy that's already known, that's familiar with being GDs, right? Let's keep it 100 here. So it seems as if Boosie is like pressing the GDs. I don't understand the mentality, but hey, the man do what he want to do. But like I said, man, man, he don't even understand the corner that he's placing himself in pertaining to guys from Chicago. You understand? I know a lot of people saying, hey man, Boosie don't care about none of that. He from Louisiana. He moved to the ATL. He doing his own thing. But the things that he doing is involving guys from Chicago. Again, yes, pertaining to Duke the Jeweler. I'm not saying that he was the guy with the blicky. You know what I'm saying? Again, going back, he knows the guys that had something to do with Duke the Jeweler being sent up because only a small amount of people knew that Duke was a jeweler and he came out from Chicago to H-Town with jewelry. Small amount of people knew this, okay? Now going back to the Kanye West and how he feels towards Boosie. Or should I say, started from Boosie having something to say about Kanye wearing an all-white Lives Matter shirt. And also saying that I really didn't care about his clothing anyway. He really didn't have no impressionable clothing line like that to me. And again, Boosie is saying that's his opinion. He even states that he don't have any Yeezy shoes, any Yeezy clothing. Things of that nature. Again, that's that man's opinion, right? But we also talking about the same Boosie that's at the same time, right? Have this perspective on what white people is doing and not doing, but also supporting their clothing line from a huge perspective. You know what I'm saying? Even before when Boosie had his own clothing line, he really wasn't promoting it for other people to wear. It was mainly him wearing it. That's why it really didn't go nowhere. But you have Kanye West. Again, a lot of people can disagree and dislike Kanye West. But what he's not bringing is a bunch of, uh, let's say, beef and a bunch of destruction towards our communities. Let's keep it 100, man. We got to be real here. I'm not taking sides. I'm being logical on saying, who has the more sense here? Yes, there's times where Boosie, you know what I'm saying? He says some things that that's very sensible. He says some things that's like, you know what? I feel you on that, bro. But majority of the time, you're like, what are you talking about, fam? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you even getting on social media? I mean, everybody has their opinion and option to do what they please. You feel what I'm saying? But again, at this point in time, what Boosie is doing is just not beneficial. And again, that's one of the reasons why the Chicago shows was rescheduled. 
some people saying cancel based on the situation that he had with Kanye West and also pertaining to Duke the Jeweler untimely demise. Hey, but as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.